Riders Waylon Wilcock and Darren Lill maintained their overall lead after day three in the PE to plate mountain bike challenge. Dry conditions saw the top riders completing the 69 kilometers stage in two hours and 38 minutes. The battle for supremacy was on from the start of the stage. Race leaders Wilcock and Lill raced fiercely to ensure they remained top of the standings. Team Contigo contended for the stage honours, but Wilcock and Lil won the sprint to the finish to record their second consecutive win. Overall leaders in the women's category, Africa Silks, Unread Skuman and Garments, Yolandi de Toy were pushed to their limits today. Hundreds of amateur riders are also competing in the race. One of them is lower leg amputee Ruben van Niekerk from Centurion. He lost his leg in a motorcycle accident in 2008. The two-time APSA Cape epic finisher continues to overcome the odds in mountain biking events across the country. Well, obviously, I'm, uh, I've got le I can produce less power, so it's more, obviously more difficult. And on the steeper climbs, it's, it's difficult because I can't stand out the seat and, and pedal, and also the walking is, is difficult, yeah. What kind of a partner is he? Um, yeah, he's a brilliant partner. Um, tough. Um, yeah, I really have to work hard to keep up, up to him, yeah. Mountain biking is one of the fastest growing sports in South Africa. It's also a sport where the bike gets five-star treatment after each ride. In the men's race, Wilcock and Lil go into the final stage with a six-minute lead. In the women's race, Henri Skuma and Yolandi de Toy have a 45-minute cushion. Janine Lee, SABC News, Garden Route.